Let's go over a few things for Motion Genesis real quick. So the one of the things when you first launch Motion Genesis, the thing you're going to want to know is, uh, well, quit to, to, to quit uh, and help and then plot as you can plot is fine. Um, but we're going to do help. Actually. So you can do help. Also, you can use what. So help was one. Another one is what, uh, which is not listed there. But what and help basically do the same thing. And they give you a list of all of the, oh, so this is what is superseded by help. So same thing. Um, it gives you a list of all the possible commands you can have in Motion Genesis. So those are a whole bunch of them. And most of them make some sense. Get mass, get cm, get center mass position, uh, define a constant, define a variable, pi, I guess we can guess that that is, um, you know, dot products, things like that. Um, so there's lots and lots of uh, commands in here. And they're all in here. And you can, so you can do help on any given one. So if I say help dot, for example, that was one of the commands, it'll tell me, um, uh, the purpose forms a dot product, for example, and this is a syntax, so you use dot A and B. So A and B have to be vectors, dyadics, or triadics, or matrices. Um, and then it gives you some remarks about these things. Press any, T, press any uh, key to enter or continue, so I'll put enter. And it gives me an example. That's what it does next. So here's an example of that of that thing in, in the action, so vector and vector. So it defines a vector V and a vector W and dots those two things together. That's an example. And so that's that's one of the things you have to learn how to do. Um, another one you're going to learn how to do is is to run. So I can open, for example, I can enter individual commands um, on the command line, or I can run something I've written uh, in, for example, uh, Notepad or WordPad or something, or text editor in Mac. Um, so, for example, if I've written a simple little file here called sample.txt uh, in my text editor, and it, I, def I do a couple things here. I say rigid frame C. I guess I can make this a little bigger for us. Okay, make it a little bigger for the video. Um, so rigid frame C, that means I'm defining a reference frame, basically a rigid reference frame, uh, which is C. So when I do that, it's all automatically going to create uh, the vectors uh, CX, CY, and CZ, because those are my uh, unit vectors, and also create uh, an origin called C0, C0 for the origin for rigid frame. I'm going to define three constants, A1, A2, and 3 uh, and then I'm going to make a vector A, and A equals A1 times CX, and it's not case sensitive as you can tell because I did A1 here and capital A1 here, uh, and then A2CY and A3CZ, and I can do a product of a vector and a scalar, so VEC equals, I'm just, this is, I'm just making these, num these names up, two times this vector A. And I'm going to save uh, my file, and all means I'm going to save both the input, that means these things, and the output, which is the results from Autoliv. And so I could write, for example, a file. Uh, let's say I actually made a mistake. I'm going to purposely make a mistake here. So I'm going to say uh, 2 times A. I'm going to remove this thing here. I'm going to save this. And it's going to um, and it's going to complain, obviously, because I'm going to have a mistake. So I'm going to pull this out here. I'm going to say run uh, sample.txt. Uh, so you got to make sure the directories and everything match. Um, motion Genesis and this sample file are, are basically in the same directory. Okay, so sample.txt, I'll run, and it goes dot dot dot, and it starts executing, so sample.txt, that's my command, and so it says this is the first line, right, that's the first line I had here, this this imp comment, rigid frame C, constants, it does A, and there's a little arrow means that's an output from autolev, or from, from motion genesis, so that's an output line, so one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four are inputs, arrow, five's output, so I told it A equals this, and it says yes, indeed, A equals that, and it changed the case to lower A, which is fine. Uh, and then I said there's a product, uh, percentage is, is a comment, obviously. Uh, seven is another input there. And it says, eight, wait a minute. You couldn't hear it beep, but it did beep at me. It says, uh, there's, a, there's a problem here because I didn't, I'm didn't i doing a vector and an undefined thing here. So if I save this now, A is vector. And I'll save this as a version. So I resave that. Um, now I don't want to run it again. Well, I could. So I, I could go here and type vec equals uh, two times a, because I made a mistake, and I get the same thing I wanted. Um, or I could say clear, which erases all the memory of, of motion genesis, like starting over. So I say clear, and I'll say run sample dot t, oops, dot, uh, txt, and there we go. Now it runs all my commands, including this revised one here, and it gives me the output, same one thing we had before. Uh, and it saves it, and says this, this sample dot all, and so I can go there and open sample dot all now. Um, and sample it all. If I go to open it, it shows here and it shows that uh, it's got the original input ones plus the two lines I have, which are output. And they're all numbered now. And this is typically what you turn in for homework, um, is because this has got the outputs, which is what we want. And that's your first motion genesis tutorial.